Hello everyone, my name is Oishiki. So today I am going to recite a poem on the topic The Last Human. So let's begin with our poem. I wake up one morning and look around. It's all so quiet, not a sound. I get ready and walk through my home and realize that I am all alone. I search for a note or a letter to make me feel a little better to know where my loved ones have gone. So early at the break of dawn, I switch on the light and wait for it to shine. But it seemed to take its own sweet time. A power cut now. Oh, why, oh, why? I think to myself and let out a sight. I sit and stare at the door, then start to count the tiles on the floor. Many hours pass, I begin to worry. Where are my loved ones? Why don't they hurry? It's midnight and the sun shines bright. I decide to check on my dog outside. With horror, I look at the empty kennel and go searching every hole, bush and tunnel. Tears streaming down my face. I start to run, ignoring the heat of the scorching sun. I shout out the names of everyone I know. That's right, a ray of hope in me does glow. This is a dream, this is a dream. I pinch myself and let out a scream. I can't believe this is true. Everyone has vanished into the blue. For miles and miles after, and I see our empty cars, cycles and bikes have all fallen down. I look at all, this is within a frown. I bang many doors and give the knobs a squeeze. To my surprise, each one opens with ease. No one seems to be there in any house. It's all so quiet as a mouse. Being in this situation isn't so bad. I think to myself and that makes me glad. I look at the opportunities ahead of me when I could get anything for free. I rush into the nearest supermarket and start to grab every chips packet. I gulp down the juices one by one and to eat unlimited candy is such great fun. I drank a lot of water as it was getting a bit hotter. I see some money and collect it in hassle but then realize it is such a waste. I held into a shop only to find so many toys that I lose my mind. But all the video games are functionless. As there is no electricity, it is useless. I get into a car and go for a drive and crack up my music to which I leave. I laugh and sing with a lively green and forget all about the situation I am in. Since I have nothing else to do, I got all the way to the zoo. In the cages there were no animals nor birds to think there would be there. How absurd! I see the still howlet of a man and shout out again. On reaching there, I realize it's just a man queen, which is standing right next to the door of a little bouquet clothing store. I enjoy trying out every dress, marketing that plays a complete mess. I also make sure to loot every sandal, shoes and boots. I yell and shout at the top of my voice. I jump for joy and start to rejoice and crown myself as the queen of the miles and miles of land where nor are seen. Though I do feel the butterflies in me, I thrill to the knowledge of being finally free, free from the projects and exams I had to do and all the incomplete homeworks too. I go to a salon and try on every wig, then held to a hotel that was oh so big. I jump on the sofa bed to take a nap, thinking that Thereafter, everyone will be back. But after a few hours pass by, I open my eyes and let out a sight. It is the same, oh so deserted as ever. That down my spine runs a shiver. 
Scared and tired, I sit on my bed. Numerous thoughts fill my head. I'm really the only one in this world? Couldn't there be any other boy or girl? I dial every number on the phone, wishing and hoping that I am not alone. Sadly, there is no reciprocity, but that doesn't stop my tenacity. Days pass to months and months to years. I manage to conquer all my fears. I learn how to move on and to survive. I find food and exercise to revive. I often wonder where did they all disappear. The very thought makes me stare like tear. But somewhere I know they must miss me. Just as much as I miss them, you see. I go visiting all the places I know. Though there were only just a few and everywhere I go I write a line to mark my presence with a sign. The thought of them not returning is horrible. Even if they did, would get it back to normal. All the buildings and roads were all decaying and traces of radioactive gases were spreading. I feel depressed and cry many a time. I question to God on what was my crime. Yet, each and every night and day, on my knees, I kneel and pray. I research all sorts of possibilities, try to find an answer to the best of my abilities. Alien abduction, time travel, what, oh what? And finally, a satisfactory conclusion I got. Humans led themselves to the brink of destruction, destroying nature for their own evolution, polluting the environment, posing a challenge. Finally, Mother Earth took her revenge and completely wiped out each living race right off this planet's beautiful face. A fate humans on themselves had brought, but only one managed to escape her world. With each new day, I am growing tired and weary, trying to find a way out of this query. I wish things went back to how it was before, as I can no longer handle it anymore. Not from decay, but from distress of having to live in total loneliness. Everything is now starting to look hazy. I think I must be going crazy. Having lost my strength, I feel like quitting. Sick and tired, I want a new beginning. So I give up my breath and I lie in the dirt. And that was the end of the last human on earth. So our poem ends here. Now let's read the summary of this poem. The apricistic poem written in abdominal style takes you into an contemporary stress and gets you engrossed in the protagonist scene revealing an emotional roller coaster that consummates an infamy, the quest to have it all but still not have what matters the most. If you liked my today's video then please like and comment my video and also subscribe my channel to listen to more such stories and also to poems and follow all my videos regularly and don't forget to click on the bell icon thank you